Senamugela Futsi with Lalam Zansi. Now, following a successful tryout phase across the country, a two selection of 48 young hopefuls underwent an elimination boot camp at the High Performance Center in Pretoria. Now, the group which was selected on the back of a tryout phase was downsized to the finest mix of 30 future of football stars South Africa has to offer. And to speak to us more about the boot camp, we are joined by Ned Benki on a team search selector, Obabu Mike Mangena. Coach, Sewamugela with Lalam Zansi. Thank you for inviting me. Now, you've been around the country selecting these young uh, hopefuls. How has the talent been compared to the other years? Look, man, for you, um, I think we all know that uh, the net bank talent search has grown in leaps and bounds. You know, when we started, uh, players were not sure about whether this is going to work, whether it is true that these players are going to, to be deployed to the professional teams. And as we, we progressed, players then started believing that, uh, yes, um, NetBank has come up with a, a, a program that, you know, no bank has ever done it. And no uh, talent search or any other program in terms of development has done this. You know, um, I think it will take us years to thank this company. Um, I mean, if you look at the players that have emerged from what we have done, uh, I'm just going to mention a few. Aubrey Maposa is one of them. Played in the in the in the in the Olympics. Played for Bafana Bafana, doing exceptionally well for Super Sport United. This year, for me, I must say it is the best team that we have. And and how we measure this team is is the level of fitness and the type of players that we have identified. Having gone to all the provinces, um, I see there are teams that are struggling with defenders. We do have defenders, solid youngsters, under 20, fully developed physically. All with that we have to, to deal with, it is the, 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 the psychological part of football and also to instill the professional approach you know, to these players. And, and uh, uh, I've, we have, we, we've, we've had the 48, and, and the sad part is that, you know, you have to cut down from 48 to the last 18. So it means 30 players out of the 48 will go back home. Go back home not because they are not good players, because this is how this has been structured. And those coaches that want to, to, to grab these players, they need to come to, to our uh, games when we play against, you know, we play friendly games. We, on, on, on the fifth, we'll be playing against vets. And this is where they can pick up those that fall away from, from, the, from others. Because understand that we're dealing with amateurs here. Players that have never been in, never played in a big stadium, that have never been coached by a professional coach. And it is just raw talent that needs to be nurtured. So um, this year, I fancy our chances. Understand also that we lost by an odd goal against Super Sport United that went on to beat the likes of Fernando Pirates by six goals, by five goals, you know. And, and it tells you that a team that has been put together in a very short space of time and, and tried to, to instill that tactical discipline has done so much well. And, and uh, last year's Captain Bongani, you will see him this year playing for Vets at centre back. Very strong player. He was 19 when, when we identified him, and I'm sure that he'll be playing. Kaza Chiefs, they are sitting with a very good goalkeeper that they they got from us, and they have not played that that boy. And I'm sure Ulutando, you guys don't know him. Don't, you don't know him. That's the player that will succeed. That will 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 take over from Kune. Now, Coach, having gone around the provinces selecting these young players, which, which region gave you the most exciting talent? We know in the previous years as well, KZN has been very, very consistent. Is that the same case this year as well? You know, th there's a difference. This year, I think it's, it's spread across the board. You know, we went to PE, we were surprised. We got so much talent. To, we went to Bloemfontein, we got players. And, 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 and if you look at... The last 18, it will be a mix of all the provinces. 
Uh, you, know, you know, it's so difficult to trim down now. I understand now that from 48, we are left with 23 players now. So five, five more players have to give away. And when we cut those players, we have to look at the positions in all the departments that you've got to have two goalkeepers. You've got to have two from right back, two left backs, you know, or you can have more center backs that you can deploy to either left back or right back when you, do, when you improvise. So out of the 18 players that we are going to have, we're going to have the best this country can offer in terms of development. There are those that did not come. You know, I understand that we can only get so much from, from the players that came to the trials. I mean, there are other players that uh, you find that they don't have the means to get to the stadium. And, and we have tried to advise a net bank that in the future, we must also try and get to the players, go to the township, not go to, or, or to, to FNB Stadium. Let's go to Orlando Stadium so that, uh, or, or, or Rand Stadium. It's far. Some players don't have money, but players can walk there. Or they can just grab a taxi and go to Orlando Stadium, which is easier for them. Now, Coach, you are in the boot camp now. What goes on in the boot camp? There are so many things that goes on. Uh, at, at the boot camp, we are dealing with a lot of aspects of football. Um, we're dealing with the, the technique. We're dealing with the approach. We're dealing with uh, the understanding of your position. If you say you are, you are a right centre back, what is your role in the team? What is expected of you? What are the basics of being a centre back? If you say to me you are a striker, I want you to understand the role that you have to, to, to play in a team. How you create space around yourself. How do you lose your, your, your marker? You, you know, we deal with so many things on and off the field. Your behavior of the field, you know. How you approach people, how you talk to people, you know. And also to understand when we say uh, you've got to be vocal on the pitch. You know, there's a, there's a drill that we do. Uh, when we say a player must be vocal, must talk, must give information, football is about giving information at, a, at the right time. We make them to play football without saying a word. And so that they realize how difficult it is to play without getting to, to, to know that there's a man coming behind you. And then we let them talk. Then they start talking. Now, Coach, finally, you mentioned the name of Aubrey Modiba as well. And obviously, having been part of his development as well, when you look at how he's playing now, what he's achieving now, what do you say about the NetBank Yona team search as, as a product for development? You know, uh, I've, I've made so many interviews. And uh, in one of the interviews, I did mention that, uh, 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 you know, I think I will be fulfilled the day I see a player that we have identified from, you know, a, a, you know the worst background playing for Bafana Bafana. You know, and that happened. And Aubrey is a good example of a player that did not have hope. A player that came to trials trying to get a professional contract he got more than that he bargained for because he went on to play in the Olympics, the big stage in football, the big stage in football. He was in Brazil, played against Brazil. He played for Bafana Bafana. And what more can you ask for? Um, NetBank has come up with, they've given hope man, to ordinary people, you understand? Um, understand that uh, there are so many peop uh, players that are unemployed in this country. They're unemployed because they, they, they don't have uh, teams or they don't have a, the platform, you know. 
or they just did not get an opportunity to play or be seen. And, and, and NetBank is giving that platform to all those players. Hence, in each and every interview that I, 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 I go to, I always want to urge youngsters who are sitting at home that they must not be scared to come to these trials. These trials are not for me, are for them. These trials are for them to come and showcase their talent and get that opportunity to play professional football. Coach, Siawonga, for taking the time to join us. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. Now, there you have it. That was Nepen Giona, team search selector, Wabu Mike Mangena, chatting to us about the 2017 Nepen Giona team search boot camp. After the break, Umalo and spends the day with the Alexandra Baseball Club. Unga indao.